How you doing guys, Zeta here. So today we got some interesting information regarding of Red Dead Redemption 1. Now this coming from the Gematsu and they are reporting that Korean rating board has published a fresh entry for Red Dead Redemption with a classification code that reserves for consoles and PC games. Now it's interesting because, well, about a year ago this was kind of more or less debunked more or less and i'm not talking about it in terms of the korean rating board i'm talking about that there should have been a remake or remaster or port for red dead redemption 1 and also including grand theft auto 4. now since the very poor sales that well and under the appreciation and also you know well what has happened with grand theft auto trilogy the definitive edition rockstar or take two interactive has pulled the plug for grand theft auto 4 and the red dead redemption 1 remaster sports remakes whatever that would have been and instead maybe they just put all hands on deck on grand theft auto 6 and that's all they would have been concentrating for the next few years but since this is a big deal right korean rating board usually when there's anything related to this well, it comes into fruition in some cases of an or another, it doesn't matter, right? But the thing what makes it interesting is what could it be, right? There's also a possibility, like I mentioned, maybe as simple as a port, right? Like finally, the Red Dead Redemption was never available for PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 5. It's basically exclusive on PlayStation consoles, being specifically on the PlayStation 3. It never even came out on a PC. And so now with this kind of Korean rating board kind of gave us a little bit of an understanding that finally we will be able to experience this game on a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 and of course including well pc now xbox is a similar case but you can play their backwards compatible games but that's a different story now this in this case i'm curious to see if this is simple as a port right like simply having this game playable on the playstation 4 playstation 5 consoles and that's it or perhaps maybe it's a remaster that it would have actually included with the 60 fps boost and also including of additional fixes uh some extra goodies some uh, some things have been maybe changed around especially in terms of the story or in-game story because you know how Red Dead Redemption 2 has ended and because Red Dead Redemption 1 is basically a sequel towards it so it kind of makes it interesting to see how they will go about this and as such it's going to be interesting to see which direction they that they choose now there's also a possibility of a remake right having Red Dead Redemption 1 with the Red Dead Redemption 2 engine quality and everything and performance well, I think this is the least likely approach. I actually think that with how Rockstar has been going about and how lazy they've been going about, I think they're just gonna have more or less of a port and they'll call it a remaster and that's it. Or maybe they'll call it like Red Dead Redemption, the definitive edition or something like that. Now again, because the name, the definitive edition has been stained pretty badly thanks to Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy definitive editions and how poorly that was made. And especially since there was also rumors, right? Rumors, it's not really confirmation that Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto, well, not Grand Theft Auto, but Red Dead Redemption Remasters should have been coming, but now because of the trilogy of the Grand Theft Auto games that came out, well, it was poorly received and perhaps underperformed in a lot of cases. Well, that was crap, the idea. It was never really cancelled, but they just put it in the back burner and just left it there, right? And thankfully, they, it seems like they didn't cancel it. Now, with this information that's coming from Korean Rating Board for Red Dead Redemption, this is genuinely interesting. I hope it actually comes to fruition because I love to believe it or not guys, I actually didn't properly play Red Dead Redemption 1 right on my PlayStation 3 or PC. It's not like you can even play on a PC. But like I never actually tried playing the game, right? I did play it to an occasion, but I never had enough time for it. Or perhaps I just simply moved on and I never really got into it. But thanks to Red Dead Redemption 2, well, my my interest has been piqued, and I'm very interested to see the sequel for the Red Dead Redemption 1. Even though I know how it ends, how it goes, the full story, I've seen the walkthroughs, I've seen people talking about it, I've seen the retrospects and stuff like that, and it's interesting, obviously, and I want to experience it for myself, I want to go for a platinum trophy, and I actually kind of hope that they re like get rid of the online mode for this, and I think that they will, 
because they obviously would want to concentrate on Grand Theft Auto Online and maybe a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2 Online since, well, unfortunately that has been completely abandoned at that point. It's actually been abandoned for a few years at this point and really there's not much of support going on for it. Grand Theft Auto Online, then the, on the other hand, well, that would be, well... It's unfortunate because of how greedy it is in terms of the shark cards and stuff like that. But, you know, it's profitable for them. They see the money, it's coming in, it's rolling in. So why would they abandon that concept? And also if having Red Dead Redemption 1 online available as well, well, that's not exactly good news because you're going to have to split up the fan base once again. And I don't think they are capable or they even want to kind of like split their own studio so that one could concentrate on Red Dead Online and the other could be concentrating a continuation of the Grand Theft Auto Online. And especially including that Grand Theft Auto 6 is upon us and sometime in us. I'm fortunate that we still do not know when the hell is this information going to be coming. It's been already more than a year and a half since the announcement of the next, uh, well, installation or entry towards Grand Theft Auto. They just, that's all they said. Now, they didn't even say it was Grand Theft Auto 6, but we all already know it's going to be Grand Theft Auto 6. I speculate that we'll know more about this in perhaps October or November of this year. Uh, that's because if we follow it through, and I think that the release of Grand Theft Auto 6 will be in 2025. And of course, if we already get a rating board for Red Dead Redemption 1, this means that there's a possibility of seeing it. Well, maybe this year? Maybe that's a little bit optimistic, of course. I don't think that they're going to wait a year for the 14th anniversary for Red Dead Redemption 1, and that's when they release it. I like, like the similar thing that they have done with... Um, you know, the trilogy of Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition because they actually wanted to release uh, those games during the release of Grand Theft Auto 3 and instead they had to push it back, I think, towards November. Uh, yeah, and so as such, I think that maybe... I don't know. Maybe they will announce that Grand Theft Auto 6 is, is finally coming. They will not show us the release date, but they will show the artwork and maybe like a very quick teaser trailer for it. Like just showcasing the world and nothing really else. But then, uh, you know, they maybe release a day later or two days later. It doesn't matter of the Red Dead Redemption 1 remaster. Now that would be awesome because like, you know, kind of having a little bit of fill until we finally get our hands on the big thing, the big dog, right, of the, of the games that a lot of people are absolutely love. For example, well, Grand Theft Auto, right? But still, this can be interesting to see, of course, a lot of people are worried because of how everything has been going about in terms of the monetization and greed in, in the Rockstar and Tech2 Interactive. And I think that, you know, I don't fault them for Grand Theft Auto, uh, the Trilogy Definitive Edition. I'm not seeing that as a fail because they were not the ones that made these remasters or these, well, I don't know, Definitive Edition as they call it. And as such, I hope that those Grove, like Grove Street Studio or whatever, I hope they had nothing, no hands on with this Red Dead Redemption 1 remaster and it was Rockstar internally doing it or perhaps a different studio inside the Rockstar and that's when it will be the best approach to go about and of course if they advertise that and say that Rockstars are the ones that made this remaster then yeah that's just music to my ears and many other people's as well. And hopefully, of course, hopefully it will live up to the expectations because, well, I don't know what kind of expectations would there be for Red Dead Redemption 1 Remastered. As long as there's some fixes and 60 FPS boost and also 4K with the HDR and, uh, you know, it would be absolute necessity, I think, if it is going to be called a remaster. Or maybe it's simple, as simple as a port. I kind of wouldn't want that to be just as simple as a port. But either way, I'm down for an yet another Rockstar game because we haven't seen a Rockstar game for so damn long. It's, maybe it's about time now, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, alright. Okay then, guys, do let me know what you think about this information. Are you looking forward to it? Do you think it's, you know, uh, maybe it's something else entirely? Maybe I'm just overthinking this. Maybe a lot of people are expecting too much and maybe this has nothing to do with a remaster, a remake or even a port. Like I said. I love to read it down in the comments. Okay, like and subscribe. See you guys all later and have a wonderful day.